Hello, everyone, and welcome to Start to Finish for Hypnospace Outlaw. My name is Matt Boyer. I am not exactly an outlaw yet. We just broke everything when we were last here. I don't remember what we're doing. Oh, we're just cleaning stuff up. Everything went bad. We are just... We're just out there crunching people. We had been going through Cool Punk... Let's just get out here. Let's just get at it. If there's a page we haven't gone to... Alright, this is the same as it was. I don't see anything new there. Trennis. Any new updates on Trennis? No. Trennis is the same. What's going on in the Truth Underground? Not much. I can't hit back but so many times. Whoa. It seems that my page slipped through the cracks when they hit all the net settler pages. All right, so this is happening again. So I am going to try and I'm going to. All right, so did it break all? Oh, man. Every time I click on that, it does not enjoy it. Hit. Definitely breaking something when that happens. Yeah, all of those are broken. Okay. Poor page. So, the Good Time Valley is an open revolt. Teen Topia. I'm not really sure what's going on with the boys. It's Mushi! I don't want to... All right. Let's Meet Mushi, the first official licensed Squishers Hypnospace virtual pet. Mushi can be yours to care for and play with for only 22 coins. It's Mushi! Make sure to feed, pet, and clean up after Mushi. Click here for virtual pet tips and an amazing new tree of life for pets. This costs money, though. While they each have wildly differing personalities, each hypno -S virtual pet shares the same basic needs. This guide will help you keep your pets happy and healthy. All right, thank you, Mr. Nobody. Is your pet starving and you can't afford to feed them? Worry not, we've all been there. The hypno -S tree of life for Hypno's virtual pets is a new desktop accessory that grows food for your pets to eat. Tip number one. Fertilize the tree of life to decrease the time it takes food to grow. Tip number two, keep an eye on your tree when you hear the pop sound of a cocoon bursting. To monitor the health and happiness of your virtual pet, double click on the pets icon. This icon should appear on your desktop when any vir hypno -S virtual pet is installed. In order to keep your pet healthy, you must do the following two things. Buy them food and feed it to them by dragging it over them. Pets will only eat food when fed it by hand. That's... Jane, is that true about you? Like, no, I will, I will eat out of the sink and the garbage. It's fine. Drag their poop to the recycle bin. If your pet's excrement poop is not disposed of, your pet's health will decline rapidly. Alert! Do not wave your pet's excrement poop in their face. It's not fun for them and it shouldn't be fun for you. Hold down the left mouse button over your pet to caress and tickle them. This will increase your pet's happiness. If your pet remains unfed and ignored, their happiness level will decrease. A sad pet is a sick pet. Alert! Feeding your pet icons and files that aren't pet food is not advised. Do not feed your pet excrement. Poop. Double-clicking somewhere on your desktop may result in your pet following your cursor for a short time. Try it! Um, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want a bonsai buddy, and I also don't want a Tamagotchi. Pizza Boogie! Dr. Pizza! Dr. Pizza! Great! Great!
Randy, did you update anything? Oh, Randy has another page. My other page. These are still... All about Randy. This is me. I am on Hypnospace every night. I am so sleepy, so I go to bed early so I can go on Hypnospace more and more. I love Hypnospace. My birthday is January 10th. I like drawing ice cream and dinosaurs. I like Mr. Peters. He is so funny. I like Taurus X. I love squishers. I love my mom and dad and little sis. I like Randy. Ran Ran Dinosaur. That's so cute. You're a good kid. It's Pizza Dancosaurus. Template. Yeah, I was in here. Okay. Mavis. All these people who have not changed their template tags. I enjoy that. I like that I got updated. Little stories about what everyone's doing. Beyond Twilight. The Tale of Smolder Boulder. Opens the book for you. Begin reading. Dr. Smolder Boulder was a not nice man. He huffed at his family and laughed at his friends. He stomped through the flowers and double dunked chips. He defaces public statues with the pictures of lips. Earn pace with a serious face now. But sometimes, Dr. Smolder Boulder gets angry. He gets tired of taking the blame. He knocks two and a half times at your door and screams out your family name. And if you open the door, I'll show you my no face. He'll tear down your pictures, knock holes in your walls, drink your hot chocolate, pound on your flaws, break your glass dishes, and smash through your table, crack every window if he's willing and able. Turns page while you realize I was never there. You shouldn't have called me a bad guy. Oh, and when he crouches over your body, he'll say with a stony-faced grin, you shouldn't have called me a bad guy, because now... the doctor is in. Live it! This game is based on true stories from Hypnospace. I understand. You are drinking hot chocolate in your average, ordinary suburban house in eastern Connecticut. What do you do? I welcome the marshmallows. Suddenly, you hear a knock on the door, charged with menace. What do you do? I uh, stay where I am. You remain where you are. Why move? You've got a cup of hot chocolate sprinkled with fluffy marshmallows and a peaceful night ahead of you. Or so you think. What do you do? I sip the chocolate of foreshadowing. As you raise the cup to your descriptive lips, you hear another knocking at the door. What do you do? I stay with my cooling drink. You can't leave your hot chocolate now, it's barely hot. It's weird, so little time has passed, and yet your sweet drink is already getting cold. It's almost like a foul wind is blowing. What do you do? Sip the chocolate of disappointment. You're about to take another sip from your neglected drink before you hear a very weird sound, like an egg that hasn't finished cracking. I like that descriptor a lot. It's coming from the door. Suddenly, a scream. What do you do? Stay on the couch, are you crazy? You stay right where you are as the pounding ceases and the scream fades away like a paper bag over a skull. It makes sense, right? Right? Suddenly, you feel something move through you. It leaves a pit in your stomach like a stone. A stony grin. A rockin' stony grin. What do you do? Try not to freak out. It's the haunted doll! There's something wrong standing in your living room, guzzling hot chocolate like a, gar like a car with thin gas. The book never said what would happen if you didn't open the door. 
the cup shatters near your ears like a gunshot. You scream. It wanted marshmallows. Dr. Smolder Boulder doesn't have hands or feet. He's smooth and tall and distorted like a babby's foggy dream. Like the first fear you ever had when you were a kid. H how does he exist? Wait, what is he doing? Uh, no! What? Do? What's happening? The vision hits you like a truck. A big one. Your body is suspended as something gets smaller and larger all at the same time. Bigger than the sky and tinier than an ant. It goes inside of you and stays there. It moves. It's the illithid parasite from the prologue of Baldur's Gate 3. You can already feel the glass beneath your fingernails and the rocks in your teeth and the splinters of the wood in the bashed up leg that doesn't belong to you anymore. No! Yes. The doctor is in. They shouldn't have made him angry. He wanted marshmallows. How do you end a game? If you find out, can you tell everyone who's ever made a Final Fantasy game? Because I love them, but they need to know. That was fun, Tiffany. Thank you. Let's see your first story. Digital Parasite Reborn, which I didn't ever look at. Oh, I did do this. These were maybe a little mean. Let's do this. Let's accept these terms. Would you, would you like to experience true companionship? To know what it's like to be loved? Yes. In... Mwah! True peace achieved, I am part... Before you're able to take another breath, tendrils emerge from your monitor. Everything turns to black. At long last, you have found what you were looking for. If your Minx chit chat me, I have something really good, but I want in first. Alright, so Tim took everything off his page. Tim, I enjoyed your little prank. Cold snap reviews. Oh boy. Yeah. That's right. All right, that was fun. If you still call yourself a cool punk in December 1999, you need a reality check. Cool punk is over. Bursting with la la laughter. Never in all my year of being a student of cool punk. That's a, if you did that intentionally, well done. Did I expect that freezer would disappoint? I was in the front row at Cool Fest 99. And let me tell you, this guy was a total hack. He's totally making it on my fake Cool Punks page. He was fake playing the keyboard and fake singing every song, even before the lip singing video. The high point of Cool Fest was Chowderman crashing his copter and killing his crappy drummer. See my other page for more of my opinions on Chowderman. There was no free grace peak and it was five bucks per bottle. No thanks. All I got was a crappy keychain and I threw it on stage.
Uh, okay, what's going on in your review archive? Icons, download your songs. So you have made music? So you made that melody. So I would like to download this. Downloading cold snap underscore smazmedly. Smazmedly. Smazedly. Downloading cold snap underscore smaz. Smaz. I need that smaz. Give me that smaz. We got more songs. Downloading I see underscore November's belly. This song has some mysterious parts to it, but there is no Joe Man Chowder Man samples used. In my opinion, that is important for a song to be considered cool punk. Not a bad effort for a beginner artist. 10 out of 50, 4 out of 50, fun factor 5 out of 5, and the little exploding head guy from GamePro. 50 out of 100, not good. Gotta gotta. Downloading Sneo is 6 underscore gotta gotta. All right, let's check out Gata Gata. I want to make my own conclusions first. Music file added to Toonbox library. All right. You kind of overstuffed it, I think. It's all right. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. Backing off is an interesting idea there. Kind of build to a, like, a, an absolute surplus of no hmm no I'm not feeling this I'm not feeling this you've got you got something going here you need okay all right first off it needs to be longer second you need I'd cut at least one of those bits or if you're gonna do that build up to everything but you you've got that overstuffed this isn't DiGiorno's cool punk. Lighten up on it. Some chords have too many notes at one time. Very confusing. But overall, it's a great song. Lots of Joe Man samples. Very cool punk. Alright. Well, that was fun. Thanks, Harris. Alright. Well, we've left Cool Fest behind. Drip Boy's Hole. All right, all right, people. New fungus single, Mushroom Hop, is out now in the cavern. Chit chat me if you want in on the fungus scene chit chat group. Since Cool Punk sucks now, you need a new place to hang out. Do you guys think Graves Peak and Joe Man will be fungus scene now? That would be awesome. I'm not, I'm not Icicle Kid anymore. It's for 12 year old girls. Look at my 90s hair. Look at this. I should be on Boy Meets World. The music on my page is Ghost of the Grotto by Basidia. He is also named Father Fungus and is probably the greatest fungus scene artist alive. He also started fungus scene. Check out his music here. Icicle Kid. Jerry Gilroy from Topeka. Been to Topeka. All right, I'm gonna go to the cavern. New and under construction. Drip Boys page. Check it out inside. Wait, hang on. This is a different thing. Oh man, back when you had to have an entry page for everything. It's a tone stool. That's okay. That's what all of these are. This is. What's happening here? Father Fungus. Daddy Shroom, thanks for letting me on here. You won't regret it. This page is mind-blowing. It's so artistic, like miles beyond what I can do. My stuff is just silly fun, but I enjoy it. Anyway, I have a critique. You should put one of your awesome songs on this page instead of just the wind sound effects. Just my opinion. See ya! I'm Drip Boy. It's our mascot. Oh, that's fun! 
Oh. Oh, I like this. Not into those. Yeah, it doesn't do anything anymore. Kid, I need you to get off of here. Oh, I can't, I don't even know who did this page. Citizen data is, is missing for... This page is freaking cool, Cavaris! It's an honor to be Whirlpool Buddies with you! I don't want to know about anyone's pool buddy. Hope you don't mind this small edit to say how awesome your page is! Drip Boy. Drip Boy, I need you to get off people's pages. I can't even... Downloading Cavernous underscore a lightless world. Cavernous underscore grotto of weeping stone. Cavernous underscore secrets of the slime. Sure, downloaded a lot of stuff at once. Into the whirlpool! Drip Boy, I don't think you understand what uh, being... I mean, that's true. Oh, guitar solo coming. This is like too... This is this has nothing to do with what we were getting through on the way here. Like, we went from Enya to Eiffel 65. What is happening? Don't mind the bass sample. I really, really mind the lyrics. Hey dude, I know you're having fun, but please stop making edits to pages that aren't yours. We leave it open in the spirit of collaboration, but you have to check with people first before changing their pages. See how weird it feels to have someone communicate like this? Just chit-chat us. Anyway, man, I'm looking forward to your continued presence here. You're a cool guy. Good luck, Ray. This is... This is all... These whirlpools are so awesome, they make me dizzy. <laughs> all 
All right, this is the first one that has actually been in the style of everything else, the row of mushrooms. I added my mus mascot, Mushroom Derek, to your page. This page is so awesome. Father Fungus is the king of fungus scene, probably the best there ever will be. It's an honor to be in here with you, dude, your friend, Drip Boy. Oh, lyrics. This is like Teenage Moby. I could vibe to this. Okay, okay. Deep in that bass, I think you really got something. This is making me think of someone. Kind of making me think of, um... I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Yaga Jazzist. J A G A. Space. Jazz I S T. Um, Swedenborg Rumpf. Oslo Skyline. Like, that's. I've been listening to them a lot lately. They're really good. I don't know how to pronounce them because I've only ever listened to them. Like, I, I just have no idea. I think they're Swedish. Um, it's not it's not like a one to one to this by any means, but like that that like ambling bass through it's jazz, but it's not really it's it's I don't know I'm really bad at communicating about music, but I like them and I think you should check them out. Drip boy, I need you to calm down, man. Don't put it in the middle. Is this a Taylor Swift bridge? What are we doing? Do tone stool, tone stool floor. Yeah, this stuff is cool. This stuff is cool. He means well. He really means well. I enjoyed that. This is... This was always bad, but it's... Oh, it's kind of... Alright, here's the... Fungus scene! Fungus scene is the beauty that grows in the damp, dark, forgotten space beneath. We bloom unseen. Fungus scene is genuine. Fungus scene will spread. Fungus scene is us. Fungus scene is... Fungus scene. Fungus scene. The fungus scene is a community of artists who create sounds and visuals. These sounds usually contain elements that evoke the feeling of exploring a damp underground netherworld, but fungus sceners are free to branch out in whatever direction they like. Chit chatter inbox me to join our CC message groups. Who is Father Fungus? Hi, I'm a recording engineer, synthesizer geek, and vocalist who enjoys coming up with new ways to manipulate sound. I've been doing music for a long, long time, and you've probably heard some of my stuff without even knowing it was me. Unfortunately, I'm contractually prohibited from talking about exactly what music. Ray, I don't know where else you might would have been. I've been in the cavern. Downloading Basidia formations, Basidia Gostoff Tegrado. I enjoyed that. That's good. 
Not much happening in the fungus scene, but I'm looking forward to it. Back into Cool Punk. Oh, here's Icicle Kid. This account is dead. This is a sad day. I cannot in good faith continue to listen to a lip singer who sold out. I'm officially leaving Cool Punk and I'm no longer Icicle Kid. You can find my new page and username here. Drip Boy. Jerry, that's not really cool punk either. I like Jerry. Jerry's trying really hard. But Jerry's really bad at it. But I, I keep keep going, man. Lush Mouth's Guide to New Original Music. Just what is haze? Sparkle haze. Flip flop? If you find yourself scratching your head at this odd group of musical genres, you come to the right place. I'm confused too. This guide takes you through the strange evolution of new digital music over the last three decades from my point of view. I'm 29 years old. Do you think your favorite flavor of bad music is unfairly portrayed? Don't at me, I don't care. RIP DigiExchange. Oh my god. Oh man. This is its own entire day. I can't handle this all at once. Like, we got... Do we have examples of everything? Dude. Dude, this is amazing. Fuck yes, we're doing this. We're doing this. I'm not I'm not changing anything. Let's do this. In the 1970s, cosmic music is what your dad and mom took drugs to. Overlong, pretentious, sidelong ballads about undersea wizards and suchi bands like Grendel's Call and Owl of Atlas. Jazz rock groups like Celestial Drum and Clifta are also sometimes considered cosmic music. Microscopic drum samples lifted from Clifta's album B were used as the PTRS-1200 stock digital drum sounds. They should instantly be recognizable to flip-flop and digistyle fans. Yeah, I'm digging this. I can hear it. Without atmospheric, or atmos, we wouldn't have most new digital genres. It seems quaint now, but in its day, it was a rallying cry to anyone who wanted to make weird music and still be heard. Atmospheric was popularized, if not birthed, by Mark Ello and his experimental Arcello project. Arcello, I bet is what it is. Almost every sound in Atmospheric is borrowed from pre-existing recordings and recontextualized, usually with thick delay and reverb effects applied. Elo, unfortunately, has moved on from his adventurous early days and now works as an executive for his record label, Esotonic. Yeah. It's alright. I definitely wanted to do more, but this is... Like, you can get a straight line from here to Hammock, which is, like, my prime writing music. We head into the 80s with New Style, a calculated unholy union between record company execs and ex-punk rockers who grew tired of the revolution. They traded their beat-up guitars and leather jackets for synthesizers, complex lighting rigs, and stage makeup. Labels like Gliss Records and even QPL signed the first new stylers. Most new style songs feature synthesized keyboard riffs, reverb heavy drums, and effects laden pop vocals thrown over simple punk song structures. I do like it. This is nice. It's simple, 
but sometimes that's what I'm looking for. Digital Style was born with the release of the Bell Sound Peters 1200 in 1983. The Peters gave anyone with $300 access to recording technology previously only seen in high-end studios. I'm thinking of a specific artist from the 90s. I just watched a Todd in the Shadows video about him. It was a one-hit wonder that, like, maybe the first thing recorded in someone's bedroom. Oh, I can't think of it. Anyway. Digital style came to prominence at underground college parties called Digis, where performers would debut their home recorded compositions and manipulate their vocals live using the Peters 1200. The Peters' cheap onboard digital reverb and delay effects gave digital style its characteristic tinny sound. Mark Ello's Esotonic Records signed the earliest digital style acts, making them semi famous. That's not bad. Flip flop! Flip flop is another underground genre that likely wouldn't exist if not for the Bell Sound Peters 1200. The accessibility of the machine allowed basement MCs to produce their own material for the first time in history. Oh. Did I touch your heart? Did I leave a legacy? Will you remember me? Will you remember me? When I leave from this cold place, will my name live on a vanish without a trace? Did I touch your heart? Did I leave a legacy? Will you remember me? Will you remember me? Will they remember no sleep? I'm bored. Nice in the lab, chasing and facing these dreams that I had. Just getting by, but determined as I could be. Faced with trials, but confident of what I should be. I wonder if my message ever reached hearts. All the bass. I want to listen to this all the time. <laughs> that was... Oh, I liked that. I liked that. Sample jazzy upright bass lines are another sonic staple of the genre. While some enjoy Flip Flop's lo-fi sound for its amateur charm, artists like MC Flipout and Red Strike are undeniably brilliant. Esotonic's King Flop claims to have invented Flip Flop, but it's well known that he's a, that, that he's a largely manufactured act with Flip Out preceding him by months. Oh yeah, that was that was nice. Tape exchanges changed everything. In 1986, the groundswell of independent artists producing tape after tape of original material reached critical mass. Tape exchange bins became the way these artists would find their audiences. Tape exchange bins were in any record store that would allow them and worked on a take a tape, leave a tape honor system. Fans would often record over the tapes of artists they didn't like and drop them back in the exchange bins, usually with their own charmingly amateurish hand-drawn artwork. Oh my god, I want to live in this world! Oh, it's like the little free library, but for indie hip-hop! Yes! I'm gonna make this happen in my real life!
Right, give me core haze. Oh yeah, we, we follow the line into haze. Haze is a more ballad-focused permutation of digital style that sounds like it's being recorded in a parking garage. Haze tracks are less danceable than digital style and often feature rocky verse-chorus verse-song structures. Digital Style's Tinny Peters 1200's effects and drum machine are also frequently heard. Haze is loud but beautiful, like experiencing an intense thunderstorm from a safe place. It's also slower, with washes of reverb and shimmering guitar filling in the cracks. This is like the most helpful page I've ever seen on the internet. Alright. Haze, but for hippies. That's what your weird, weed-dealing uncle does while not meditating on a bed of positive energy crystals. Earth Haze often features panpipe samples, djembe, and fake tribal chants created by some nasally paper-pushing dork layering an unconvincing vocal performance 50 times in hopes that the listeners won't hear his mini-fridge in the background. Still, I'm glad it exists because the album covers are brilliantly bad. The guy who designed the horribly dated Hypnospace promo graphics did many of them! What? This excites me. Yeah, Pinehurst. Third Haze, like Haze, consists primarily of atmospheric lo-fi ballads and moody pop tunes, only with heavy, jagged, fuzzy, completely blown out guitars instead of only slightly blown out ones. There's also a distinct lack of cheap synth sounds. Melodies are often buried beneath near impenetrable waves of distortion. Check out Glamocaster's first LP, Glamoplasm, or anything by Skies Asunder. That's such a simple drum line. I, I, I'm into it. Mainstream acceptance of the internet in 1994-95, with a little help from audio compression tech, led to an enormous boon, boom in new digital music. Weirdos now had a place to congregate and collaborate, resulting in a deluge of new music. Genres began splintering at an unheard of rate, resulting in the beautiful mess we have now. Dylan Merchant's DM Toonbox and Toon Sequencer, now known as Hypnospace Toon Sequencer, would come a little later and reshape things all over again. It's too bad he's sold out, because the guy made some amazing stuff in his day. Isn't Dylan like 21? Dark Haze is... Dark Haze scene is Haze, but horror themed. Imagine, it's early morning after a Halloween party. The rising sun begins to illuminate the swaying plastic skeletons with an orange glow. You sit alone, watching smoke rise from a spent jack-o'-lantern candle. When done right, Dark Haze, I'd have called it Dark Haze, but I don't make the rules, is special. Check out Haunted Houses. The artist, not literal haunted houses. Lizard Boy. Give me some Sparkle Haze. Sparkle Haze is just haze, but with dreamy harp samples and that twinkly fairy dust sound you hear in cartoons. Hollow Angel is some good stuff, with the rest of the scene being internet subculture copycat trash. Sparkle Haze is clearly less about the music and more about an overall aesthetic. I don't mind harps, but I, I'm not a fan of the harp here. Hypnospace has been both a blessing and a curse for new digital music at large. On one hand, Hypnospace Tune Sequencer becoming free has made it easy for anyone to make their own music and upload it to Hypnospace. On the other hand, Hypnospace Tune Sequencer becoming free has made it easy for anyone to make their own music and upload it to Hypnospace. We had a good run, folks. I love the writing in this one. This is this is a great breakdown. I'm normally not so fond of gatekeeping, but man, have you heard some of these cool punk HSMs? I didn't want to say Yowza. Cool punk. Eh. It started out okay with Freezer's seven minute debut, Colder Than the Rest, now playing, but like anything on Hypnospace, the kids made it some weird, ironic click thing. I'm old. Are you? You're 29. You're 29. I'm 41. I'm basically a pile of dust. 
It's now an orgy of fake love for Chowderman and borrowed nostalgia for that dumb Grey's Peak snowman. It isn't even about the music anymore at all. Cool Punk releases are a grab bag of amateur attempts at whatever genre the artist fancies mixed with Christmas sound effects and Chowderman samples. If I have to hear another sleigh bell, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. More of the recent trippy reverb drenched postmodern haze sound, but this time with drippy cave sounds and guttural gurgling synths. I'm pretty sure it's just one guy, Basidia, but I wouldn't mind it becoming a full-on movement. Would be nice after enduring Cool Punk for an entire year. Eduardo, start a substack. Or not a substack. They're into Nazis now. I wanna I I wanna listen to everything you do. Alright. Fall of Man, Noise Noise, Chet Pinehurst. Guy Master Cool. Oh, so we have a Pinehurst um, break in 92. Merced, Fractal Waves, Cyberneticus, Barnaby's Chair, and Freezer. Tamara Frost. Click here to go to the homepage of sound artist, interpretive dancer, and poet Tamara Frost. Tamara, you got a, a lot happening there. I'm pretty new to this new, this cool punk art style, but it is quite fascinating. I love seeing all the incredible things you all make. The song playing now is my spoken word interpretation of the Grey's Peak song. I remember hearing that song so many times in the commercials in between the early morning cartoons back in the 80s when I was a little girl. So much nostalgia. It's my first cool punk work. Zones. Places for people to feel the same. Places for people to feel different. All their own. On their own. I want to go to the Starport Castle Dream Station. I am not alone. I belong every place, everywhere, just like you. We are all zones together. So this stuff ne never really worked for me. I like it and I respect it, but it doesn't... Spoken word over that, it, I, it doesn't... I don't know. It, it doesn't work for me. Um... The, I have heard, like, spoken word poetry delivered in a way that is, like, incredibly moving and powerful. But I think I like it when there isn't music under it more. River, river, river? Leaf floating. Stone. Frog. Grass. And leaf. River. They're all river. River, 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 river. Hmm. That was pretty interesting, actually. You gotta drink it up. Oh god, I'm so over that Freezer song. The Peace Lands are digital spaces where hypnospace citizens may engage in private, mediated conversation. Without influence from distracting and harmful social hierarchies. Um, so uh, that's not what this makes me think of. This is... We're kind of close to that era of the internet. That's not what this makes me think of. This isn't a peace land. It's not what it makes me think of. 
Both parties agree a declaration of peace will be written and posted below. Vigil for Coolfest victims. A virtual vigil for those hurt in the helicopter crash at Coolfest 99. Please take a moment of silence to think about and pray for the life that was cut short, as well as those who were injured. Cold snap. Oh, what did Icicle Kid have a slush mouth? Slush mouth has agreed to remove the unkind paragraph on Icicle Kid from his guide to new digital music page. No, I wanted to read it. Icicle Kid has agreed to stop messaging Slushmouth every day, asking him to promote his music. Peace was made this day. It's getting worse. Okay. I'm really excited to see eventually the one between Corey and Zane that'll come up here. But we got some Father Fungus splits happening. Neo Icy X. Or Neo Icy. I don't know. Are the I've never known. Are the X's silent? And Father Fungus have agreed to settle their differences and make peace with one another. Neo Icy has agreed to remove their unkind fungus scene doesn't belong here page. Father Fungus has agreed to stop sending Neo Icy unkind HS inbox and chit chat messages. Peace was made this day. So that happened while I was out. I click on the same one again. Yeah, Cold Snap. Cold Snap and Father Fungus have agreed to settle their differences and make peace with one another. Cold Snap has agreed to remove the unkind paragraph about Father Fungus on their fake Cool Punk watch page. Father Fungus has agreed to stop sending Cold Snap contentious chit chat messages. Interesting. I gotta keep tabs on this one. Alright, I have stamps. I haven't done anything with them. All right, where else can I go? I think it needs me to find more stuff. I ran around in here a lot. I, I've, I've done done this. I know where I want to go. I know where I want to go. I don't remember what it's called, though. The dumpster. What's been up, dumpster? I went to Cool Fest 99. This event was incredible. Cool Punk is dead, folks. And Cool Fest killed it. From the moment I stepped out of my car onto the ironically scorching pavement of the King Amphitheater parking lot, I knew this was going to be special. Sandwiched between two enormous ads for extra thick chips was the Cool Fest ticket window. Waiting patiently in front of it were 200 ish people. Not quite the 5,000 person turnout the Cool Fest planners were hoping for. And they're doing a pretty good job of not letting you anything. Here's a highly scientific pie chart of the Cool Fist attendee types. Confused 45 year old Chowderman fans, 15 year old Cool Punk kids, parents of 15 year old Cool Punk kids. Great. After grabbing our tickets, a venue attendant had us form another line at the opposite end of the venue for our promised Joe Man merch. Only the Cool Punk kids and parents hit this line, with the Chowderman people heading inside to get good seats for his opening act. After waiting for nearly an hour for the merch to show up, the sound of tires screeching called our attention to a truck speeding towards us, knocking a few trash cans over on the way. Some sweaty guy emerged with a single box of Joe Man keychains. No shirts, and no free Grey's Peak Cola as promised. 
People were pissed, and the keychains were used as projectiles throughout the rest of the evening. Chowderman had already launched into the Chowderman's hotel room when me and the gaggle of cool punk kids and parents arrived at the stage. He followed it up with some eight-minute song about shaving, a couple of newer rap rock songs with his new band Cruncher, and an encore of his extended version of the Gray's Peak jingle. No one really cared or seemed particularly into his stuff until the Gray's Peak thing. Then it happened. A helicopter landed on a platform in the middle of the, st of the crowd, and the band and a few fans from backstage hopped aboard. I was surprised that the thing even made it safely in with all the wires hanging around. As I'm sure you all know, Chowderman crashed his copter. Old Chowder's leg had to be amputated, and their drummer died. I can't bring myself to be too awful about this, because it was harrowing to watch. You'd think they'd call it a night after a helicopter crash, but no. Cool Fest continued. An old guy from Gray's Peak, a guy in a Joe Man costume, and a few merchant soft people came up and gave a speech about how amazing and dedicated cool punk fans are and threw a few shirts into the crowd. It would have been weird anyway, but the crash just made it completely surreal to watch. Freezer hit the stage next and played for only 15 minutes before it became clear that he was lip syncing. The cool punk kids started yelling mild swear words and started throwing their Joe Man keychains on stage. An old guy came out and told everyone that Cool Fest was over and that was it. Needless to say, the event exceeded my expectations. Oh, man. All right, we've... We, I think we got to roll through... Um, we got to find the drama. And I think the dumpster is going to be the ones that get us there. This is from... This is a, like a month old. Oh, this is not the one that I was in. Fliss is currently filling the void that Dig Exchange left behind after Merchantsoft banned it. Until recently, oh, I'm sorry, I've zoned out. People were only using it to post rips of the bad, obscure music they listened to, but now the Hypnospace rabble are sharing passwords, I guess, and it's getting really, really bizarre. Like, do these people get that it's private? Here are a couple of interesting poems. Oh, we have some passwords. Oh, we have some passwords. Oh, hang on. That is not... A, Matt, you cannot alt-tab in here. That's not how this works. Can I... Oh, boy. F104427... F10427A. Good. That, sorry, sorry, zero is the button I used to, to, to minimize my screen. <laughs> I need to I need to use the numbers up on the top, please. Matthew, what are you doing? F15997A. Looked over, like where the what happened to the what happened to the feed? Oh, I did. And here we have drawings of cars with human heads? Even Chowderman himself is using it, and well, just see for yourself. Tilda F00088D. Hang on, where do... Does it not... Is that as big as I can make this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where'd it go? Oh no! No, it took all my things! How did this happen? How did this happen? My data! My secrets! 10427A. Okay. One five nine nine seven A. That's it. It doesn't take the uh, the tilde. That's interesting. Matthew, you have got to stop pressing that zero. 00088D.
Was there an F in front of that? No, why is it doing that? If I double click on it, it deletes it all. But I'm trying to go back to an earlier thing. I'm writing these down on something else. I'm getting my actual planner out like this is the equivalent to making sure my mortgage payment goes through. Secrets list codes F one oh four two seven A F one five nine nine seven A Tilda F zero 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 eight eight D. Please return to your post. I am on my post. You're the one that broke by this. What in the world makes you think double click equals control A delete? The net settler safe mode. Ooh, I'll have to learn about that. I want to go to the freelance. This group of geeks staged an insurrection after Merchantsoft deleted their favorite zones, and I legitimately like what they've done. It's dumb as hell, but I love it. Instead of a list of pages, you have to navigate their zone by clicking arrows on a giant multi-page map by, uh, and click on landmarks to visit their pages. It takes ages to find what you're looking for. The best part of this is that a Merchantsoft employee is partially responsible for its existence. He disabled the page owner field on the freelance pages, so technically anyone who knows about it can get in and make changes. I did a little tinkering. Yeah, I added a dong. But my edits were changed back minutes later, so there must be some nerd out there really keeping a close eye on this stuff. Get into the archives. Halloween and Hypnospace. Hypnospace citizens have decked out their pages with a broad assortment of horrifying imagery, such as skeleton playing guitar, skeleton laughing, skeleton riding motorcycle, skeleton just kind of standing there, skeleton hand pointing, skeleton tipping cowboy hat. We were just about to do the predictable thing and list Halloween themed pages from 70 year olds who can't quite figure things out when we came across this. Let's have a closer look at that fellow on the right, shall we? Why do I exist? This affront to Gaia, dear readers, is a Halloween offering from Good Time Valley's own Celtic warlock, Alan Forobi. Well, not. Oh, he left his. That's like. He left stuff in there. While not torturing his neighbors with marathon bagpipe practice sessions, Arlen creates 3D art and shares it with his fellow Good Time Citizens pro bono. We'd consider that admirable if he wasn't also inf inflicting irreversible psychological trauma in the process. Update! Arlen found our article, had a personal meltdown, and removed his Halloween page. Don't think these things so hard, Arlen. We're just pulling your hairy Celtic leg. We've uploaded Arlen's glorious desktop wallpaper in the name of Digital Preservation. Click here to download if you dare. Halloween, Halloween. I do. I do dare. I'm invested. <laughs> HSM is Merchant Soft's proprietary sample based music format. It was designed by non musicians to save bandwidth by triggering samples that come pre installed with Hypnos. HSMs can only be made using Hypnos based Tune Sequencer, a free software package for Flamingo S. The accessibility of the software has resulted in a plague of unlistenable trash music from amateur composers the world over. Please put your ears together for the world's worst HSM showdown. All right, both of these I know. I don't know this one. Downloading Gil Cyber Cog Circuits. I'm I'm interested though. Music file added to Toolbox Library. This HSM sounds like the result of a Give a Monkey Hypnospace Tune Sequencer experiment. This whole feature could have easily been only songs made by Gil, but we're cutting the fellow a break since at least he's honest about his lack of musical ability. Doesn't stop him from pumping out tracks like Cybercog Circus, though. It's almost charming. 
Yeah, this one's really bad. That one's really bad. I, I agree with you. Ah, cool punk. Once an underground music genre slash art movement, now a hollow fad among Philosophy 101 students. This song is an attempt at a danceable Christmas medley by a person who, as far as we can tell, doesn't actually know how to write music. It contains plenty of chowder, man. From the Grace Peak jingle, cool punk kids are bonkers over it, and ho 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 samples, but the music on offer is so bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. The latest inexplicable crazed hit Teen Topia, Pizza Dance.hsm, is annoying, but we're not sure if it's eligible to win simply because most people know it's an awful, awful song. Its popularity is a direct result of its coupling with that dancing pizza animation. With no credited composer, we're gonna chalk this one up to being a marketing ploy and leave it alone. Oh, hamster dance. Alright, alright, thank you, thank you for that. Um, so, we have found, we found things. <laughs> Another person I watched played this. This was the first music download page they found, and they played these three songs nonstop for the rest of their playtime. If, if the way I have this set up didn't make all the music that I'm playing so much louder to me than what you all are experiencing, I might be doing that as well. I should find a way to, I should turn my stuff down, but turn it up for everyone else. That would be bad. So I searched freelance at one point and didn't find anything. I think, get out of here. I'm, I'm mad at you now. I don't, I don't, I don't want you here. Yeah, you're, you're broken. You're broken. You're broken. Don't click on that. Get out of here, too. You you get out of here. Wait, can I not get rid of you? But you're so big. I can't make it bigger, so that's probably good. Tiny little dot. Up in the corner with you. All right. Um... What do I put in the launcher? Chomp, chomp, chomp. That's interesting. It's a mimic. Eat it. We, we gotta call it in a minute. Again, it needs me to find more stuff. I've reported some people. But that's not enough. I keep thinking Dylan is Corey. I don't really know why. What is this? Janitor. Not sure what this is, but I think it might be illegal. It does allow you to score easy hypno coin, but I delete it because I want to implicate myself in crimes. Excuse me? What is this? Welcome to your job, janitor. Want to earn hypno coin? Are you a qualified accounting professional over the age of 18? Good, become an independent contractor accountant for Royden Capital today by clicking below. By installing the janitor's accounting software, you agree to the terms at the bottom of this page. How to do the job to make hypno coins. Make piles of five documents by dragging documents over one another. Put completed pile in incinerator to make coins, only if you deem it necessary for your job. Put infected files in incinerator immediately. By downloading and using accounting software janitor, you, provider, agree to render accounting services to client Royden Capital, RDC. RDC agrees to pay provider for services rendered by transferring promotional HypnoCoin credits on a regular schedule as provider completes work milestones. HypnoCoin is not legal tender and functions as a prepaid balance to purchase content and services in HypnoSpace space only. Provider shall be considered an independent contractor at all times. Provider agrees to indemnify and hold client harmless from any claims of liability resulting from provider's handling of files. 
Downloading Janitor. All right, we're going to do some crimes on Bunday. Don't tell anyone. We got to find out that I'm just doing. I'm just checking some stuff. Cash. Money. This is, this is hidden. They hid this. They hid this pretty well. Tell your heaven space friends how you're doing by entering text here. All right. Crimes are coming. But for now, I need to go finish out a work day. Oh, God, that page about music was so good. All right. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I will see you all next time. Bye.